Hey, hello everyone. It's Dr. Sue here from Mortar Institute, and it is always a great joy to be sharing space with you. We're going to plug into the short answer in just a few moments. I have a couple of announcements to make. Uh, first of all, thank you for being part of our community. It is has become a global family uh, netted pretty tightly and pretty amazingly and always opening our arms and welcoming more people in. And most importantly, we are very dedicated to having a deep, rich connection with life itself and uh, empowering you to your highest, your highest self here in this body, in this skin, in this life. So, um, so join us in just a few moments for the masterclass as well. I'll share something with you at the end of our uh, programming right here. Um, in just a few moments. So what I'd like to share with you also is we have a program coming up in uh, June June 3rd through the 6th, which is the Lineage Sedona Retreat. It used to be the Sedona Retreat. We're returning it to its original name, the Lineage Retreat, because we talk about all kinds of juicy things like uh, other civilizations seeding the planet with technologies and intelligence and uh, and about 100,000 years ago, a fusion happening in the human DNA strand that is a byproduct of what was happening on the planet at that time. And, and just some deep, rich explorations to demystify things like ancient Lemuria and ancient Atlantis and what was happening in ancient Egypt with the Great Pyramids and the mastering of the mind field. There's so much fabulous content inside of that regarding the angelic realm and the archangelic realm and the elementals. And spirit guides and how it all correlates to quantum science and what it is that we're really walking around as. So I very much look forward to sharing that content with you. And that is June 3rd through the 6th called the, the Lineage Retreat. If you're interested, please just let us know. The link is in the comments there for you. Also, I want to tell you, June is going to be a packed month for us. Uh, in June, we are also bringing forward bioenergetic synchronization technique training. A best practitioner is trained through Mortar Institute once a year in a live format like this. And so we'll be doing that in June as well, the 11th, 12th, and 13th. You will be able to become checked off and certified in, or, or eligible to be completely certified in best, practicing, uh, best practitioner training uh, at the end of that event. The only thing remaining from that would be doing some case studies and taking a test, which I will prepare you for. And, uh, and then you'll be fully certified in best technique and be one of our practitioners reaching around the world helping humanity on a great number of, uh, of items, healing on every level, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual integration. So it's something I very much love, teaching my father's work as it was, uh, as it was left by him on the planet and, uh, and adding into that conversation that that I have as an understanding about how it all fits in the big context of who we are and what we are doing here. So join me for the best practitioner training um, June 11, 12, and 13 if you are feeling an urge to be in greater service to humanity. Uh, in addition to that, that link will also be in, uh, in the chat. There is also an informational call that I have uh, already done about the content of that program, which is posted, and you'll be able to see the link for that as well. So check it out and join us in June. It's going to be a hot, hot month, okay? So tomorrow, also, also, May is not finished. We are having another Body Awake Yoga class tomorrow, and, um, and as that, we are uh, inviting you to be a part of our Body Awake membership and all you have to do is connect with the link that is in the chat about that as well. You will get two live body weight classes every month as well as access to the, the dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of classes that I have already recorded in terms of doing body awake yoga and how to anchor the consciousness in the core of the body. So uh, those things are coming right up. And then also in a week, there is the monthly healing transmission, which is something that I dearly love to share around the world with thousands and thousands and thousands of people that are joining us each month. This time it's May 26th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. The link to that is monthlyhealingtransmission.com. That also is in the link uh, in the comments section uh, here that you can check out. 
We are always offering so many ways to stay plugged in and to stay uh, collaborative with the divine as a part of who you are and you being an expression of that divine presence. We want you to have that. We're bridging science and spirituality in every course that I teach because they never should have been separated as a comprehensive method of teaching and understanding our true essence and what it is that we are doing here, right? So we come together in the short answer to, to land on a little poignant idea that might be able to stick with you uh, in a quick and uh, easy manner. And then after that, we follow it with the master class. If you are a gold member um, in, our, uh, in the Institute, you are already having access to the master class. If you would like to join us, that information will also be uh, in the link in the comments section here and uh, check that out because we're going to go deep and rich in the master class this evening as well. So for the short answer, let us begin. I'm going to keep it short. We had some technical difficulties getting started uh, with some broadcasting issues here. So my apologies for that, but we're going to dive right in. It'll force me to keep the short answer short this time. All right, so I'm titling this Blink. Because on my way into the studio, Lisa asked me, what do you want, what is this one going to be called? I said, Blink. She said, what? I said, Blink. And uh, so she typed it in, and here we are. And this is why. On my way walking in here, I was, um, I was thinking that a, a few years ago, Malcolm Gladwell published a book uh, several years ago called Blink. And in that book, he talked about the fact that when you experience something for 10,000 hours, so when you've done that for you know, some time, whatever that thing is, you could actually consider yourself to be an expert in it. And what I realized was each of you have been being an expert in you um, for quite some time now, and perhaps you're not allowing it to be true. And so if we were to apply the principles of Blink, which is that you know in an instant what it is that is true for you, and if you are to allow that to, to come through you and translate itself into making decisions in your life and translate itself into choosing a path or choosing a, a, uh, a job or choosing how you're going to respond to something, you actually know in an instant, inherent in the inner workings of your system and with the amount of practice time that you have had, you know you know in an instant. And the only issue that is at hand here really is that we have to train the mind to trust what is known. Because the mind operates on its own little set of circuits and it starts thinking that it is supposed to be making decisions based upon learned information, on analytical data that has evidence and outcomes associated with it only. And if it doesn't have that associated with it, it doesn't feel safe to make that decision. And yet, I want you to remember that innovators and creators and those that invent things don't have that kind of evidence to draw upon in order to bring forth a new way of thinking, a new project, a new invention, the invention of the technologies that we are experiencing that even allow us to be engaging at this time were brought forward based upon something that was never seen before, but an idea and a dream and a vision that someone had. And I would like for you to realize that leading your very life should be able to be applying the exact same principles that have life-changing, world-changing ideas associated with them. And so you've been being an expert on you. You've had evidence about the ways of being that bring up great joy in you. You have evidence of the ways of being that allow you to be healthy and strong and robust and vital. You have experience on a way of being that is loving enough to melt through circumstances that have seemed insurmountable to you before. You do have experience along these lines. And so I would also imagine that you've put more than 10,000 hours into that, right? If you do the math, you'll see that, yep, you could check that one off as well. And so what if it was true in being you that you could actually be the expert in you? You know, people are always giving me feedback and giving me ideas and, and trying to, you know, to, to do this, to improve upon that or whatever. And I always take it in and I consider it. But at the end of the day, what ends up coming forward and creating this body of work is my version of my recipe, of my co-creation with cosmic intelligence. Period. 
It's the only thing that I can possibly do is deliver what I know, what I am knowing in this now moment is of truth because it has a certain feeling associated with it when it is true. When it is true and the highest good for the most amount of people and grounding the principles that matter the most for us and not getting caught up in, in the wave of this moment and not getting caught up in trends and circumstantial ideas and having to speak out to those and get on the bandwagon with that in one way or another. There is an eternal truth that passes through this communication that I'm always keeping my eye on. And there is an eternal truth passing through you that is also unwavering. And I want to invite you to hmm, inquire about it. What if I've already been sitting on top of a gold mine that is you? What if you've already been sitting on top of that which you are stewarding quite well, as a matter of fact? What if you've already had many successes that get overlooked because you're living in your mind filled with expectations and or disappointments and all sorts of control mechanisms that are keeping you from being able to be connected to this divine communication that is attempting to happen through each one of us. So it comes through me in a certain way. It comes through you in your own way. It comes through me as a broadcast around the world. It might come through you in how to connect with your children or how to connect with a community or how to connect with a long lost friend that you haven't been able to find the right way to reapproach some kind of engagement. All of it is right here for us. And you have already been uh, clocking enough hours on you to be the expert of you. What if you do know best? I see so many people splat their energies and disperse their energies by asking and asking and asking and asking, asking and asking and asking and asking, asking, asking 62 friends before they do something. And the problem with that is they never really get to know who they are. When at the end of the day, you do know. You do know. Because the wisdom of the universe is passing through your system right now. It is funneling and channeling and hitting the earth and rising up as you. So when you stay grounded inside of the anchor points that I teach inside of the energy codes and you are connecting a line of communication from your own rootedness, your own tailbone, the own, your hips and your, your root chakra down your legs and into the earth, there is a constant degree of support that is rising up through your system and offering up all of the information that you need. Am I saying that the wisdom of your life comes from the ground? Uh, yes, because here's what happens. The cosmic information, the universal mind, funnels itself, channels itself, becoming a you, lands itself in the earth beneath where you stand, sit, and walk, and it rises up through this physiological system that has been created as a byproduct of this energy field and toric field flow. And so, when you stay in your body and stay grounded, you have access to everything that you need. And if you will learn, and you can through the energy codes, how to breathe more deeply into your core and to set up that set of circuits that will serve you continuously as you learn to do that, you have exactly what it is that I'm speaking of. You are the expert. In a blink, you know what decisions to make. You know what feels right for you. You know what feels true for you. And you know, even if it doesn't, even if everyone else is doing something or not doing something, you must listen to you. One of the gifts that I would love to give to humanity is the ability to make wise, authentic decisions for themselves. And you have the capacity to do that. And it is right here. Maybe you need to learn how to build the circuits and sit down inside of yourself and in a greater degree. And I have a level one in my coursework coming up this summer and in July that will absolutely serve you if you've not been shown exactly how to hook up that circuitry. Because you've been being you all of your life to whatever degree you allowed that to be true. But inside of all of those efforts, you have enough evidence to be considered an expert in you. And so why don't you sit back and allow that expertise to have a place to reveal its artistry, to reveal its craft and its gift to the world. Because you came here as original medicine, and this is your time right now to allow it to be expressing and living 
and engaging in the life that it came here to have. So blink, blink, you know in a blink, you are the expert. And I would love to further your expertise, the awareness of your expertise that you have in the masterclass just following us. The bottom of the hour will be starting. We're going to go for one hour and allow you to ask questions, which I will answer collectively inside of some imagery that I draw as we go along the way. We have a fabulous time, and I would love to invite you to join us there. You can do so by checking out the link that's available to you here, and I will see you in just a few moments. To the entire Energy Codes community, again, I thank you for being a part of this awakening that is happening inside of humanity and the healing that is happening on every level of our lives. By you engaging, you provide a bandwidth of humanity that people on the other side of the planet or across the river from you or wherever you may be are benefiting because of the qualification of the energy field that you are contributing to. And so, my friends, it's always a joy to be with you, and I look forward to when we get to connect in just a few moments. Until then, namaste. Blessings to you all.